Hey, how you doing? This is King David David and Goliath Music. Now, one of the things that is most important when mixing your music, and I do this all of the time, is having to remove the clashes between the kick and the bass. Uh, they're always going to be at odds with one another. At some point or another, they're going to have issues. Why? Because they occupy the same space. Now, let's just say you're in a small apartment and you've got five people living in that small apartment wouldn't you get a little bit cramped a little annoyed well that's kind of what happens between the kick and the bass so what I'm going to do is play this track and I'm going to isolate my kick and bass I'm going to show you what I did to make ease the tension between the two okay watch how I do this I hit play okay now what I'm going to do is just solo my bass Okay, next thing I'm going to do is bring up my uh, equalizer just for that bass. So I'll left click on my insert and then I'll left click on that effect. Okay, I know what I did to it. I wanted to punch it through, so I brought up my 278 hertz. I brought it up pretty high actually. Alright, and then I sloped uh, slowly off and rolled off all the way down on my lower sub frequency. This way my bass is cutting through. Alright, now a lot of times what I'll need to do to my kick drum is to do exactly the opposite. So now what we've done is we've taken them, um, they're still in that small apartment, but we put them in separate corners. Okay, so watch what happens. Let's bring up that kick. that's my kick and they share the same rhythm so then it becomes even more important that there's a distinction between the two of them because they're sharing the same rhythm so there's a plenty of opportunity for them to bump heads okay all right so now let's left click on that foodie parametric EQ for the kick all right and I'm just gonna solo my kick this time this way I can hear what's happening with my kick. Here we go. Alright, what I did is again I sloped off my lower frequency, my sub, brought up my 247 hertz, which gave it punch. Now I got my bass and my kick punching through instead of sounding muddy. Now let's take that off. Take the EQ off the bass. Let's see what happens off my kick drum. Okay, you can hear. They're already disagreeing with each other. All right, let's put it back on. You hear how it immediately cleans up. Okay, so we've gotten our low frequency instruments to play well together in a small house um, and let's talk about how we did it we can just put these EQs side by side and we can see the difference as to what was done to them okay let's just do that alright so here up top is my kick you can see the slope is a lot different than the slope on my bass drum bass drum emphasizes mainly one frequency the slope on my kick emphasizes the frequencies leading up to 247 and going away from that. Everything above um, say 1.5 hertz or 1.5 kilohertz uh, doesn't need to be accented so it, we just slope it all the way off. We slope off and roll off that low muddy frequency and now we have clear bass that cuts through the track. Alright, now let's go ahead and bring up the rest of the track Right, so that's how we get our sub frequencies, our bass notes, and our kicks 
to play well together. All right. I'm King David for David Live Music. Now this track right here is actually available now on the website um, for the FLP version of it plus all of the drums that go into this track are available over at beatclass.com you should really get it today it'll give you an opportunity to look inside of a King David mix uh, the FLP all of the source files are there the stems are there um, you'll get a chance to see all of the settings that I have and the effects that I use on this track plus you get the whole drum kit with it so it's a good time to go get that from beatclass.com and I'm King David for David and Goliath Music One Love uh, keep making music and we will see each other again alright peace one love